God, come to my assistance. Lord, make make haste haste to help help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will will be be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the weekend. I'm so glad you decided to kick it off with us here at The God Minute. Today is Marian Saturday. It's been a while since we've done a pray along together on Marian Saturday, so that's exactly what we're going to do today. This one is a devotion dedicated to the Blessed Mother under her title, Our Lady of Knock. It comes to us from TGM community member Amy, who visited Knock, Ireland, and was so moved by her experience there, she felt called to share this devotion with our TGM prayer family. The backstory here is that Our Lady appeared in Knock, Ireland on August 21st, 1879, along with St. Joseph and St. John the Evangelist outside of a church. Beside them, in a little to the right, was an altar with a cross and the figure of a lamb, around which angels hovered. There were 15 official witnesses to the apparition, young and old, who watched it for two hours in pouring rain, and together all recited the rosary. This is a church-approved Marian apparition, and today, Nock is one of the world's major Marian shrines. This devotion is a really beautiful and unique one, as it honors the Blessed Mother and St. Joseph and St. John. The PDF of the devotion is linked in the notes for the episode if you'd like to follow along. Pope Francis, when speaking of Our Lady of Knock, recalled that in the apparition of Our Lady at Knock, the Virgin says nothing. Yet, her silence is a language the most expressive language we have. The message from Nock, therefore, is that of the great value of silence for our faith. As Jesus taught us, and as his mother reiterates, there are times to speak and preach, and there are times to remain silent. So, as an intention today, we ask for the grace to be able to discern the difference, for the wisdom to know when to speak, and when to be silent for our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who lives in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Our Lady of Knock, Queen of Ireland, you gave hope to your people in a time of distress and comforted them in sorrow. You have inspired countless pilgrims to pray with confidence to your divine Son, remembering his promise. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Help me to remember that we are all pilgrims on the road to heaven. Fill me with love and concern for my brothers and sisters in Christ especially those who live with me. Comfort me when I am sick, lonely, or depressed. Teach me how to take part ever more reverently in the Holy Mass. Give me a greater love of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Pray for me now and at the hour of my death. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Saint Joseph, chosen by God to be the husband of Mary, the protector of the Holy Family, the guardian of the Church. Protect all families in their work and recreation and guard us on our journey through life. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Saint John, beloved disciple of the Lord, faithful priest, teacher of the word of God, help us to hunger for the word, to be loyal to the mass, and to love one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Our Lady of Knock, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Rosary, pray for us. Mother of Nazareth, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Our Lady, Queen and Mother, pray for us. Our Lady, Mother of the Church, pray for us. And now we remember our own special intentions. With the angels and saints, let us pray. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who lives in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In closing, I'm going to leave you with a live version of the song Our Lady of Knock, sent to us by another TGM listener, Jerry. It's sung in St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City and is just lovely. Enjoy, and we'll see you tomorrow for Breaking Open the Word. Gathered here.